Hey everyone, for this video, I just want to share with you my unboxing of my brand new lawnmower. I bought this from Canadian Tire for about 350 bucks Canadian, and it's a brand called Yardworks. Now, this is a gas powered uh, with 163cc push lawnmower. Now, you might be wondering, oh, for that price, why couldn't you consider every one of those lawnmowers that have real wheel drive or front wheel? Drive. I have tried those before. I am not a big fan of those kind of lawnmowers because I find them actually much heavier than the bush mower and obviously more moving parts. Chances are more headache when the lawnmower breaks. For this one, I am quite happy with the features and one of the things that I like about this brand Yardworks is they are one of the companies that makes lawnmowers out there, gas powered, that you don't have to do oil changes. So all you need to do is just top off the oil and you are good to go. I already had this brand before, as a matter of fact, I had almost the same model, this I would say would be the Step Up, the one that I got before a couple of years ago, it doesn't have the uh, bag collector, and this one I decided to just go for 3-in-1, so it has side discharge, mulching, and also the capability of bagging, which I find quite handy whenever fall season comes in, when I want to gather all the leaves, I use my lawnmower, it makes my life lots easier. And also, uh, this brand comes with four year warranty, which is quite amazing. So I just keep the receipt and uh, go from there. So if you're wondering what model it is, the one that I have here, I believe this is the model number, 060-1331-2. Again, I bought this from Canadian Tire for 350 bucks Canadian. I ended up paying like 300, 280 bucks. I actually had some Canadian tire points. So as you can see, engine is 163cc. Uh, cutting pad about 20 inches. Deck width is 21. SRD dimension, so it's not too, too big, but pretty good. And wheel diameter is actually eight inches. So that's something that I like. Yeah, let's uh, hope it up so we can see what's inside. So I opened the box now and once you open it, this is what you would expect to see. So you have your bag collector, pretty good quality actually, doesn't feel cheap. You got some quick startup guide, gives you an idea on how to navigate through the uh, options for the lawnmower. Got some more manual here. Of the bolts. Next one that I see is the side uh, discharge for the lawnmower and this is quite important to keep uh, with my experience with lawnmower a lot of people when they buy their lawnmower they tend to use mulching and they ignore the side discharge part which I believe I prefer to use compared to the using the uh, mulching. Uh, a lot easier to clean under beneath the lawnmower so very important to keep. Next one is, I can see pretty much is the main body of the lawnmower. I'll be honest with you, it's actually bigger than I expected. I thought it should be just a simple lawnmower, but 163cc engine, that's, that's pretty good. That's not too big, not too small either. And let's see here. What I need to do is just grab the whole thing. I'm gonna take out of the box and show you how you guys, it looks like once it's out of the box. So this is the lawnmower, I took it out from the box. Like I said, my initial impression is actually bigger than I expected. It's pretty cool looking lawnmower, I'll be honest with you. And I like the fact that you can see here at the front, there's the handle. And I think that's quite convenient. So if you need to uh, lift the lawnmower or if you can have someone help you, you can also lift the lawnmower this way. So my first initial impression, this lawnmower looks pretty cool. Pretty solid actually, even the wheels. I like that nice finish on the engine. It just looks good. Like, so far I'm quite happy with my purchase. For Yardworks, like I said, I have used them for quite some time now. And I love the brand. Engine made in the USA. If you can see that and read that, that, that is amazing. That's rare. Most of the time it's made in China or some other Asian countries where you know, this is usually the quality is lower, but for something like this, that is pretty cool. So I'm quite happy that I paid 350 bucks. Some people might say that's too expensive, but you know what? 
everything is expensive these days, so for this price, I can't complain. I'm just gonna take it off from the plastic bag here. So my next step is just to go through the manual and assemble the thing and show you guys how it will look like once it's all assembled. So for assembly, uh, what you need to do is uh, locate your two handles. There's definitely lower and upper handles. So this one is the lower handle. And you'll see the difference. This one actually have also like a piece of metal sticking out that allows you to insert it on one of the holes here. Pretty straightforward. The manual says just insert this handle here, just so, and that's your starting point. Next up is locate these bolts. You can see, based on this, uh, you don't really need any tools aside from some supplies. You need to provide oil and gasoline. For a lawnmower, it's a good idea to use. Uh, high octane, especially for uh, storage, so you don't have to add any additives for a gasoline conditioner. Uh, that's what I've been doing for years. I never had issues because some people, when they store their lawnmower, they use a lower grade gasoline and they wonder why their lawnmower won't start. So that's a quick tip. If you ever decide to get a gasoline powered lawnmower, always use a high octane quality so that during storage, you don't have to worry about the uh, lawnmower not starting up properly. And I've done it before, it works really good. So for now, I'm just gonna insert the bolts and go from there and show you guys how it looks like. So what you need to do is just grab these bolts, insert them, and there's about three holes there for the uh, mounting portion of it. And just line it up in the middle, just so. Put your washer. Put the nut tight in it. Don't have to super tight on it so you can do the other side easily. I'll make sure the bolt is actually coming from the inside part of the uh, lower handle. Your washer. Now you can tighten it. Up. And these are good because these knobs here are removable so for storage you can easily fold them during winter time so it doesn't take too much space when the handles are fully open. So we're just gonna do the next part is the upper handle and it will just basically go connect it on top of the lower handle. There we go I just put down the lawnmower from the box so it kind of gives you a better view of the lawnmower. Like I said, the lawnmower is pretty amazing. It feels solid already and doesn't feel cheap. I love that the wheels are eight inches in diameter and uh, that allows you to push the lawnmower easier whenever you try to cut your grass, especially if your lawn is not even. I'm just gonna connect the upper part of the uh, bracket so you guys can see. So when you're doing these uh, bolts and uh, connecting the handle, just install them, but don't tighten them yet. Wait for you to install the other side 
then you start driving every day. So that, uh, it allows you to reposition the handle easy. Yeah, so yeah, it allows you to reposition the handle easily. And once both are installed, you just have to start hiding both sides and you are good to go. So again, I love these kind of like nuts and bolts and knob because I could simply just loosen this enough and both sides are going to do the same thing. And this will allow you to fold the lawnmower handle for storage, right? So you can easily fold this and this will fold like this so push it all the way down and it gives a little bit of a small profile in your garage or wherever your storage will be, it might be under your deck or inside your shed. So pretty straightforward, I love these knobs, it works really well. So I'm just going to keep going, assemble everything and you guys can see what the final look. So the next piece is we're just going to install this cliff to hold gas, it basically gives more gas to the lawnmower, which is connected to this and otherwise let go. the lawnmower dies, turns off by itself. So it's pretty much done, it's pretty straightforward installation, nothing much to it and if you want to see I'm going to put the side of this church so you can see how it looks like. So you open up this port here, this. So, okay. so right now you are good to go for side discharge. Now you might have noticed that the lawnmower is quite low sitting on the ground because I haven't adjusted everything. But what I like about this one is it is adjustable in terms of height with one lever. So there, love it. And like I said, I'm just gonna reiterate this. Quality in this lawnmower is pretty good. It's pretty solid. I'm not even it feels really nice. It's definitely the better version of the lawnmower that I bought from the Yardworks years ago. And for 350 bucks, you can't really complain. The next one is I am going to install the bag so you can see how it looks like. And if you are wondering what it needs for the supplies like the gasoline and oil, it's calling or asking for 10W30 and number 87 octane, which like what I mentioned earlier, if I were you, go with a higher octane so that during storage winter time, you're not gonna have a hard time starting the lawnmower the next season when the spring comes. So we're pretty much done. That didn't actually take me a long time. I mean, I'm talking, doing this and that. I could have done the assembly within like 10 minutes easy. So it's not something hard to do. So I'm gonna assemble the bag now and you guys uh, can see how it looks like. To begin assembling your bag collector or clippings collector, you have to make sure these tabs here, they are actually open. So you just have to clip it on the metal frame, just so. So it provides it a rigid support. So you just do that in all sides. Um, regards to lawnmower, the collector itself or the clippings, this is something that I find the lawnmower manufacturers, I would say they put maybe, you know, like, a bag that they expect you to use for a few years and more than likely they'll fall apart after so many usage because they expect you to buy a new one and that's how they make money in terms of their business. I have seen people buying lawnmower and then the lawnmower has been like six years, seven years and the bag is just basically falling apart. So it's a good idea to, I'd say buy ahead of time maybe after four years of using your lawnmower because chances are if your lawnmower is quite old, the bag that they used to provide with it is probably discontinued and you won't be able to buy it anywhere. Uh, I heard there's some sort of universal type of bag that you can use and some people try to refurbish the bag after all this squat, as long as you have the frame, that's what matters most. So now I have this, it's straightforward. Okay, to install this, all you need to do is open the flap here, the bottom here if it's so and what you need to do is just insert it like that so yeah you can see how it looks like close up what you need to do is open the flap and you can see the hinges 
of the bag itself, the frame, is actually resting on this shaft here, right there. It's the same for the other side. And the lawnmower is pretty much assembled. I just need to add some fuel and some oil and I should be good to go. Now, I want to reiterate again why I bought this lawnmower. It's because no oil change required. You simply just add more oil if you need. And with the artworks, I have tested it for years and I am amazed that I don't have to do any oil changes whatsoever. A lot of my buddies who have different brands of lawnmower, it's something they complain they have to do oil changes after so many times of usage. And I figured for extra, I'd say 40 bucks, I could have gotten a, a much lower price lawnmower, but I had to do oil changes. But with this, I don't even have to do that. This specific version of yard work uh, comes with EC pull start. It's actually the engine. So if you're wondering what kind of engine it has, it has the Briggs in Stratton 675EX. Ready start and uh, no oil change required. Just check and add. And that's something I like about this brand. So again, if you are wondering what kind of lawnmower model it is, and this is the specs. So, like I said earlier, it's asking for 10W30 and number 87 octane for your gasoline. However, I highly recommend that you use high octane for storage also, so you don't have to do, do any uh, fuel conditioner when you need to store the one more during winter time. So that's about it for this uh, unboxing of this lawnmower from Yardworks. And I bought this from Canadian Tire for about 350 bucks Canadian. And got a good deal because I had some Canadian Tire points and I paid 280 bucks Canadian. The model number is 060. Dash one three three one dash two, and that might have been also the Canadian Tire product code. And like I said, I love this brand. It works really good. I have used um, Yard Works before. Pretty good warranty as long as you have the receipt and uh, the product is registered with uh, the the company. And just don't lose your receipt, especially for this one. It comes with four years uh, limited repair warranty and uh, they will respond to you. I have dealt with them before, they're quite helpful. A lot of the stuff that uh, they provide for warranty, if something breaks, mainly it's the engine. The other things that are consumable, like the wheels and the uh, bag, obviously those things you have to buy them, as over time so they are wear and tear. But for the majority, I believe uh, if your uh, deck started rusting within a year, in pretty bad condition already, there's holes and stuff like that, given that you can prove that you store them in the right condition. Like for myself, I never leave my lawnmower outside the house. I always put them inside the garage so it lasts longer. You more than likely cover it. I mean, you can see there's a problem with the lawnmower. So again, this is how the lawnmower looks like. I am quite happy with this lawnmower. It looks pretty cool. So my next step is to add oil. Again, like what I mentioned earlier, this lawnmower is asking for 10W30. And for the gasoline, it's asking for number 87 octane. Always get a higher octane. And yeah, so this one is at storage for your full string or your engine. So I'm just gonna add some oil here. I got 10W30. This can actually take also 5W30 depending on your temperature or environment that you're going to be using it for. If you are uh, in a warmer climate, 10W30 would be uh, ideal, 5W30 if you are in a bit of colder climates. So I'm just going to add the oil and there is that dipstick there, so you can see, and you see the two holes there, so that will be the max in terms of level, I have to see in the camera, zoom in. There you go. Yeah, mm, it's pretty straightforward, nothing special to it. Uh, because it's a very small engine, it doesn't require a lot of oil, so don't go crazy. Otherwise, you'll have a good time trying to empty. Yeah, oil tank. 
So the good idea is to put some oil in there. Add your oil when you are on a steadier platform so you can actually gauge properly how much oil you put in there. So I'm going to go and uh, wipe it off so we can see. So I'm still in the process of adding oil in this uh, engine here. It's really strange, I look in the manual, it doesn't really say how much oil you should add. I'm really disappointed on that part. Otherwise, I had a 10W30, I think this was like at least half a bottle left, and I figured that would be enough, but now, uh, I mean, I only had about 9 ounces of oil in this one. This was for my generator, but 10W30 is 10W30, and I looked in the manual further, this no longer takes uh, I believe uh, SAE30 as well, 10W30 and 5W30 easily. So I did have some 5W30 here. And some people will say don't mix oil, you know what? I've done it in years, it works great. You actually get the best of both worlds. And uh, 5W30 is pretty good general purpose oil all around throughout the year. And yeah, I just have to add a bit more. I'm about it's to see, but I managed to get almost there at the low level. You can see it there. Try to zoom in. Uh, very high, but there we go. So you can see. So I need a little bit more. And I'm almost there. So really at this point, you're just kind of like trialing error. But don't put too much. Go little by little. And that's why I hate that the manual didn't say how much oil I should put in the engine. That's, I'd say, pretty disappointing. Alright, that's getting close. I'll do it one more time. Uh, I thought I did get close, but yeah, still need a bit more. So I'm just going to keep adding oil and go from there and let you guys know once it's all done. There you go guys, I think I'm pretty good with the oil, so you can see, sorry about that. Trying to zoom in there, but yeah. So I think I'm good. Uh, that took quite a long time, that wasn't fun. Would have been nice if the uh, manufacturer for the engine itself said, oh hey, you need 19 ounces or 20 ounces of oil, but yeah, from what I gathered, this engine takes a bit more oil than I expected. I'm not be quite surprised. I was actually, uh, yeah, I was using this <laughs> along with this. <laughs> so I had about maybe one half bottle of this, and this is, a bit more than half left now, so that regards, I don't really know now at this point how much oil this engine uh, takes. I wish I took note, but I'd say maybe about 20 ounces at most. So you do trial and error, like I said, uh, put little by little, don't just go crazy and start adding oil and next thing you know you add too much and you're gonna have to tip over the whole thing just to take out the oil, right? So I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to add some gasoline and hopefully she starts with no issues. Shouldn't be some brand new lawnmower. Adding gasoline is easy because you can actually see the inside of the tank. There's an indicator as to how much it's max, so let's add a little bit more. Let's see, I 
this. Oh. Let me turn that way. to do now is we are going to start this lawnmower cross fingers hopefully it starts show you guys once it's all ready to go so there you go guys I have prepped this lawnmower assembled it put oil in it I have to use 10 w30 and I added a bit more 5 w30 it's safe to do so anyway it's just in the manual and also some gasoline. So again, this is the Yardworks uh, 163cc push lawnmower. I bought this from Canadian Tire and it's gas powered with a three in one option for side discharge. If you take out all the accessories like the bag and the side discharge is called mulching. This one here is the bag. And I love this engine because it's uh, no oil change needed, just checking that. So I'm just gonna start it and go from there. Open the garage door. I don't want this thing to be fuming inside the garage. There you go guys, so she does start, that's a good thing. And I'll take her for a test drive. See you outside.
Hey everyone, so I have finished testing the TR Works Lawnmower 3 in 163 cc and I bought this from Granny Tire, like what I mentioned earlier. So far, my first impression about this lawnmower is it's pretty good quality. I love it, it's very light. Also, I love the first, very much the first start pull. So, I just want to let you know the moment you first time starting this lawnmower, you might have to pull it two times. Uh, mine took about four times to start pulling it and after that everything works. Also, you might notice that for the first few minutes after running the lawnmower, you will see some smoke coming out from the exhaust, which is normal. After a few minutes, I'd say about five minutes, it will start disappearing and you shouldn't see any smoke. It's just normal because the engine is brand new, first time starting it. And uh, Again, this is the Lawnmower from Yardworks and it has the 675 EXI series engine and I got this from Canadian Tire. I love it. It works really well. It's just very light and uh, one of the cool features I like, I mean most lawnmower have this feature is I'm able to fold the upper handle just like so and pour it easily in my garage and not taking too much uh, space. Other than that, I believe it is a good quality lawnmower. I love the adjustment lever here for height adjustment. It has seven settings and it's very easy to adjust. So you can go up to one, that's the lowest setting. As you can see, it's very close to the uh, ground and it doesn't take much. Very easy to adjust and that's the highest, you go seven. So that's it. I hope you like this quick review and unboxing of this in one uh, lawnmower from Yardworks and if you have any questions or you're curious about this product please let me know leave me a comment down below this video I'll be more than happy to reply also if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive latest updates from my future uploads until next time see you again